What do you do if you're being blackmailed? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. So let's say maybe somebody hacked your phone and you have very personal private pictures on there that you don't want anybody else to see. Or maybe you have a small business and somebody hacks one of your computers and is holding all your information for ransom and threatens to release it if you don't pay them. Well, first thing, never, ever, 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 ever communicate back with a person who's trying to blackmail you. So don't get in a urinating contest with them. It's the worst thing you can do. You need to ignore them and go immediately to the authorities. Uh, the fact is, I help a lot of women who have stalkers and I always tell them, if a stalker's emailing you or texting you, do not keep emailing them back. Do not keep texting them back. Even if it is saying, hey, leave me alone, don't ever talk to me again. Because these sickos, when you start communicating with them, they think, oh, this person really likes me. Or these people who blackmail are like, oh, I've got them where I really want them. So that just empowers them. So as much as you want to keep communicating with them or give them the middle finger or whatever, don't do it. The next thing you gotta do is obviously protect your online privacy. I know I've talked about this before, but it's worth emphasizing since it's so important, and especially the recent incidents that we've seen, is you never want to be in a position where your personal information is no longer personal and is now being used against you. Having your address, phone number, or even financial details exposed to the wrong person is a nightmare that unfortunately comes true for far too many people these days. That's why I'm an avid supporter and customer of today's sponsor, Delete Me. They specialize in removing your personal data from public databases and people's search sites, which can significantly minimize your chances of being breached altogether or blackmailed. You can head over to joindeleteme.com slash Hanson and use code Hanson to get 20% off their privacy plans because why wait for some blackmailer or for some next privacy breach to happen when you can easily prevent it by using Delete Me. So let's say you already contacted the blackmailers, meaning when they reached out to you, you emailed them back, you tried to negotiate with them. Don't do any of that. Again, it is not going to work. You need to immediately cease all communication. And of course, very, very important, keep records of everything. So if they email you, you keep records of email. If you did a phone call or are attempted to do a phone call, you're not going to listen to me right now telling you not to, you record that. And you have multiple backups to that recording. So don't just do it on your phone, do it on your phone, do it on your computer. That way you have multiple backups in case something goes wrong. So you want to keep every bit of communication to hand over to the authorities, even though you should first go to the authorities and not give into their demands no matter what. I know you'll be tempted. And guess what? Many, many years ago, I've had people try and blackmail me. And what did I do? I basically laughed and handled it the right way, meaning I didn't give in to them. They were knuckleheads and it worked out fine for me because guess what? Blackmailers are bullies. They're wimps. They're cowards. So as much as you are tempted to give in to them, just ignore them. They'll go away and contact the police.